If you look at his work, there isn't any kind of distinct uh, subject matter. It's just a mass of flesh and um, the foreground and background get conflated. So they're very, very abstract. There's not one thing that I kind of am speaking to. I'm more trying to um, have connections with the palette or this bodily feeling of, I call it dispersion. Like when I had my illness, there was a kind of experience of this, what I call like a dispersing of your body and you're trying to hold it again. So the painting practice as a way of um, responding to that body crisis in a way. You're trying to create, recreate a whole from all these parts. So the response would be, I was looking a lot at studio, like studio shots from his Instagram even. And when I visited his studio, just looking at how the floor was in relation, how he works. So it looked very much like um, a surgical theater because they have these bright lights in this mall, these strip lighting and this white foam um, floor. So it was, it's quite, it was quite clean when we went. And then the kind of paint you see, it was really um, present. And all on the walls is, is this flesh. So this, this white was a stark contrast. So I started thinking about the floor and the surgical spaces, hospital spaces, installation. So less so about responding to particular images, more so about the feelings they conjure, the spaces they make you think of. And Kinman was talking yesterday about this, the orderlies cleaning the floor up in the hospital that he was institutionalized in and the, and the red just not going away. Like just those kind of, those resonant, lasting, um, senses of things. Each medium has a different pleasure and a different pain or a different struggle. So for example, if I'm working in performance, it's not about me. I have to open myself up to a lot of chance encounter changes, like the control just goes away because I have to trust in my choreographer, my sound person. And I think the best way to respond to that is there isn't one preferred medium. It's just that each project I get or conversation I have that I want to respond to, which involves sight or something personal, would dictate what medium I need to kind of respond with. So I can't really pick. Sometimes they exist all of them together in one space, like with the sound and the painting upstairs. And recently in the Prague Biennial, um, sound, installation, painting, and it was in a uh, disused hospital laundry site. So uh, the site was bigger than me. So I had to just be respectful to that and not try to compete and work with. So this thing of just being ready with all your armory and with all your um, languages to respond, be ready to respond. And having a range of material helps you respond more intuitively and, and naturally. So yeah, painting is something I can do in my studio that is like gives me the most insular pleasure um, because I'm making a mess on the floor I'm returning back to this kind of free space where there, there's not um, I don't have to burden myself with with reasons or context and all of that comes after in a sense but at the same time you can lose yourself in it because there's a an endlessness to love and play so I need the borders of a curation um, or a space to stop stop that because it can get painful after a certain point